here's a quick and easy way to save your floors and potentially your wallet. Hi guys, I'm Randy and today on BRS TV How To, we're installing a float valve on our RODI water storage containers so they'll automatically shut off when they're full. When I got my first RODI unit, I couldn't tell you how many times I flooded the basement floor until I finally got a float valve. Even though my basement floors were cement and I had an in-floor drain, it was still a major time-consuming mess. Many reefers don't have this luxury of a cement floor or a drain, which is why a $15 investment in a float valve seems like a no-brainer. My favorite part is now I can walk away while making RODI water without having to set timers or worry about overfilling. These things can last many years without too much maintenance, and I've personally never seen one fail. Not only that, but installation for both the fixed and adjustable float valves only require a drill and a half inch bit. For nearly all of my installs, the fixed float valve is the way to go. Although the adjustable float valve allows you to fine tune the water level, it does leave the door open for a possible failure point if the wing nut loosens. As I mentioned earlier, all we really need is a drill and a half inch drill bit for the installation hole. I also find that a small crescent wrench can be helpful when tightening a couple of those fittings. So with that, let's get to installing one. In order for the float valves to function properly, they must be installed horizontally so that the water level can push the float upward and close the valve. As you can see, I leave enough room at the top of my container for the flange to create a watertight seal on all sides. I like to mark the top and the bottom of the float onto the side of my container to help guide me while I drill the installation hole. Now I drill my half inch hole, clean away any rough burrs or plastic, insert the float valve through the hole with the white rubber gasket on the inside, and tighten it down with a retaining nut. For the blue RO tubing, be sure to use all the included compression fittings and that they're properly aligned like you see here. Making sure you install these fittings correctly will prevent leaks from any of these connections. There's no difference for the installation of the adjustable float valve, but just keep in mind that the water level will be different than the fixed, depending on where you set the float. And don't forget to tighten down that wing nut. And with that, we're done. Well guys, that wraps up this installation. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with a chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.